Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make cartoony outlined items in Roblox. Um, and you're going to need Blender to do this. You can have Blender 2.79 or 2.8. I'll be showing you how to do it in both on this video, so don't click off of it just because you see 2.79 right now. Um, yeah, I'll explain the process, how, it, how to do it, and hopefully you'll have a good understanding of uh, what the effect is and how to do it for yourself. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Blender and you're going to clear the scene. And what I mean by that is removing all the objects from Blender uh, Blender scene. Um, so how you do that is you select everything. So you can select it manually by right clicking each object and holding shift. Or you could just press A and that selects everything. And all you have to do is press X to delete it. So once again that's A, X, delete. Next up we're going to create our head mesh. So you can see over here we have our uh, little tabs, it says tools, create, relations, all that good stuff. You're going to go down to create and you're going to create a cylinder. Now if you're like me, your cylinder might spawn off to the side. All we have to do is press Alt G and what that does is removes its locational data and it brings it to the exact center for us. Uh, this won't be a problem for most of you guys, but if that does happen, just go ahead and press Alt G. Next thing we're going to do is enter edit mode. So right now we have our cube and it's in object mode. And what this is, is just it's one object and there's nothing we can do about it. But we want to customize it. So all we have to do is switch to edit mode. You can either go down here and switch into edit mode or you can press tab. And now we need to make this shaped like a Roblox person's head. Now how we do that is we customize it by beveling it. So each object is made up of three things. It's made up of vertices, which is these little dots. It's made up of edges, which is these lines. And it's made up of faces, which is the whole uh, combination of edges and vertices. So what we need to do is edit the edges. So what we're going to do is hold Alt and right click, and we're going to select the top and bottom edges. So you guys can see we have them selected there. They'll be highlighted in orange. So again, it's Alt, right click and we're going to bevel them. So control B and that allows us to bevel our object. So you can just drag your mouse however much you want it beveled and as you guys can see it's really flat. We want it rounded. So we're going to roll our middle mouse until we have a bevel like we like. I did it three times and you guys can see we have a beveled um, cylinder. Now we want it smooth because you can see all these little boxes and lines on it. We don't like that look. So in order to smooth it in edit mode, we're going to go to shading and UVs. And under faces, which is what these are, we're going to set them to smooth. So now you can see we have a smooth face. Now for the cartoony effect. So what the cartoony effect is, is the mesh turned inside out. So what I mean by that is um, if we painted this rainbow, we would see the rainbow on the outside. But if we painted it rainbow and we turned it inside out, we would see the rainbow on the inside. So using that effect, we can um, duplicate the object and scale it up and then turn it inside out. And then we'd be able to see the inside out mesh on top of a normal mesh. Um, so how we're gonna do that is we're going to shift D to duplicate and we're gonna press S and that'll scale it up. So now we have two meshes, we have the big one and then on the inside, we have a little one. You can't really tell, but I'll hide the big one and you can see we have a little one inside of it. So now all we have to do is turn the big one inside out. So in edit mode, we're gonna press W and we're gonna flip normals. So now our mesh is inside out. If we go in the inside and look at it, it's gonna look normal from the inside. Let me hide the smaller one. It's gonna look normal from the inside but on the outside it's going to be dark and that means it's flipped over. So now we're good to go. All we have to do now is texture it. So real quick we're going to create a color palette. So using any uh, Photoshop application or drawing application, we're going to create a rainbow and we're going to um, import it over to Roblox. So you can create uh, your texture which is going to be 256 by 256. That's the size that UGC uses. And we're going to Google rainbow. I'm using a second monitor. So we're going to pull up a rainbow pattern. 
or if you want it any color you want, so let's say you want it blue or purple, uh, you can get that as well. Just find whatever pattern you want it to be. And we're going to pull it into your application. So let me pull, uh, get this rainbow real quick. Here it is. I'm going to copy it. And in this application, we're just going to paste our rainbow. I'm going to scale it over and drag it up. And then at the bottom, we're going to make it whatever color you want the inside of the cartoony thing to be. So let's say we want it black, like most of them are. We're going to take our paint bucket tool and we're going to color it black. And I'm just going to scale it down. If you guys are wondering what application I'm using for this, I'm using an application called Sketchbook. It's by Autodesk. It's completely free and you can draw on it just like you would uh, paint or something along those lines. Next, we're going to save it as a PNG. And that's going to be our color palette that we're going to use the texture for this. So now all we have to do is combine both these heads because as you can see right now they're um, they're separate. So what we're going to have to do is press A to select everything and Control J and that joins them together and now they're one mesh. You can go on the inside and see that the smaller head is still inside there. Um, so what we do now is go to View, Perspective, Ortho. Um, so under here View and then perspective slash orthographic or numpad 5 um, and then we're going to go to right or front or whatever view you want to go into just as long as you can see the side of the head so again you go to view perspective slash ortho and then right front whatever just as long as you see the side of the head and we're going to go to these three little arrows right here and drag open another editor so again, these little arrows right here and drag open another editor. If you want to close one or you accidentally opened it, just drag it over on the little line between it, right click and join area. Anyways, open up a UV image editor. So click this little grayed out cube and open up a UV image editor. And from here, we're going to go to our files and go to where we save that color palette and we're going to drag it over here. So as you guys can see, um, we have our color palette over here. So the next thing we're going to do is unwrap our head. So what I mean by that is, I'll show an example on the screen. You guys can see this piece of candy. It has its wrapper, and its wrapper has the color on it, but it's just a flat, weird-looking wrapper until you wrap it around the shape. So we're taking the same concept here, and we're wrapping this color palette around the shape of this head. Um, so I'll show you guys how we do that. That's how you apply color to any mesh. Um, so what we're going to do is press U to unwrap and we're going to project it from view. That's why we're in this view. As you guys can see, we have the outline um, or UVs of our head mesh. We have the big one and you guys can see the little one. So what we're going to do is zoom in and we're going to select part of the little one. So just any of these corners right here and we're going to press control L. And what that does is select the linked items. So it's a selection type and it selects everything linked to it. From here, we're going to press G and that will grab it for us. And we're going to scale it down and bring it to a black. So if I go into texture, you guys can see uh, our little head's going to be black and we can only see the outer head right now. Um, so what we're going to do is press Control L and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So negative 90. So control L, R, negative 90, and we're going to scale it down, drag it up to our colors, and then uh, scale it on the X axis, so S, X. I'm going to walk you guys through that process one more time for anybody who got lost there, because I know it is a harder step. So we're going to press U to unwrap the whole thing. We're going to select our smaller mesh, so zoom in and select the smaller one. Control L, we're going to separate it from our bigger one, so S to scale it down and separate it, and then we're going to select our big one, so Control L again, and G to grab, and we're going to drag it up to our rainbow. Next, we're going to rotate it, negative 90, so R, negative 90, just type that in, and we're going to scale it on the X axis, so S, X, and we're going to drag it all the way out to where it fits this rainbow. If you did every step correctly, 
you're ready to go now. So all you have to do is open up a Roblox Studio and I'll show you guys how to bring it from Blender into Roblox Studio. So the first thing you're going to do in Roblox Studio is right click insert object mesh part and we're going to switch back to Blender. We're going to have this object selected. We're going to go to file export wavefront or dot obj we're going to name it rainbow head and we're going to save it export it from here just click the little file icon and then import the rainbow head that you just saved Um, you can hit no on that and as you guys can see your mesh imported and it has the rainbow outline on it Now a few issues people might have maybe your texture didn't load in with the object All you have to do to fix that is go to create on Roblox studio go to decals And you're going to upload the color palette so upload the rainbow black texture you made and we're going to call it texture and upload it so if yours came in with no texture we're going to click on that texture and it has these little numbers at the top that's going to be the id so just click these numbers and then in studio you're going to select the mesh and just go right here and paste the texture and that'll fix the missing texture for anybody missing it so that's how you do the cartoony outline in blender 2.79 Next, I'm going to show you guys how to do it in 2.8. It's the exact same process, but a few things are different. Uh, we already have the palette made. If you are skipping to this part, uh, just go back and make a rainbow palette. I showed how to do it at the beginning of the video. Um, but now we're in 2.8. So the first thing we're going to do is clear the scene. So press X and delete everything. Next, we're going to add a cylinder. So go to Add Mesh Cylinder. So right here we have a cylinder and we're going to try to shape it into a head. Now how we're going to do that is we're going to hold ALT and then left click and we're going to select both the top and the bottom edges just like that. You can tell you have them selected if it's highlighted orange. Again ALT left click top and bottom edges. Next we're going to bevel it and this will create a round effect to it shaped like a Roblox head. You can just eyeball this, so what we're going to do is control B and just eyeball it until you see that it's round enough. I usually do around here. And then roll your mouse three times and that creates a nice smooth bevel for our head. As you guys can see, we see the geometry and the shapes on this and it's not looking too great. So how we're going to fix it is we're going to set our shading to smooth. So we're going to go to face, shade smooth. Now we have a nice smooth head. Next, all we have to do is duplicate the mesh and turn it inside out. So as I explained earlier in the video, the outline effect is just when the normals are facing inside out and um, it flips your texture from the outside in. So how we're going to do that is shift D to duplicate and scale it up. So now, as you guys can see, if I hide this mesh, there's a little one on the inside of it. And that's exactly how you create the outline effect. Now, depending on how thick you want the outline is how uh, big it'll be. So if you want a thinner outline, just barely scale it up. If you want a thicker outline, scale it up a little more. And next, we're going to flip our faces. So in edit mode, you can uh, select everything and then go to faces. Um, oh wait, actually you go to uh, mesh, normals, and flip. So now this face, uh, this uh, bigger one, its normals are flipped inside out. Next thing we're going to do is press Ctrl J and join it into one mesh. So as you guys can still see, the smaller one's on the inside. Next we need to create a texture for it and we're going to UV edit it. So what we're going to do is go to Material and press New. And under Base Color, we're going to press this little circle next to it and we're going to go to Texture, Image Texture. So again, create a new material under this little circle right here, new material, face color, select this circle, and image texture. From here, we're going to press this little file that says open, and we're going to drag in our texture that we made earlier. 
So if I press Z, material preview, you see we have our texture on here and it's not looking too great. So we're gonna edit that. So we're gonna go up here where uh, it says layout, modeling, sculpting, and we're gonna go to UV editing. As you guys can see, our texture's already here. All we have to do is fix our mesh however we want it on the texture. So using this little thing right here, we're gonna select Z and it just puts us in a right orthographic mode. And we're gonna press U to unwrap and project from view just like we did in 2.79. Uh, if you want to preview what you're doing, just press Z and then go down to Material Preview. So what we need to do is separate our little head that you guys can see in here from our big head and we're going to um, color the big one. So the little head's on the black already, which is good. All we have to do now is select the big one. So select any of these edges and press Control L. And using G to grab, we're going to drag it up to the rainbow. So G and drag it up to the rainbow. Next, we're going to rotate it, press R, negative 90, so type R, negative 90, and then we're going to select it, so control L, and we're going to scale it on the Z axis to where it stretches all the way across the rainbow. If you want it a certain color, let's say you only want it blue, you can scale it along the blue. If you only want it green, you can do it on the green, whatever you prefer, but I'm just going to do full rainbow because that's what's popular right now. Once you're happy with that, you're good to go. And we're gonna export it to Roblox. So we're gonna go to File, Export, Wavefront, or .obj, and you're gonna give it a name and export it. So in Studio, right click, Insert Object, Mesh Part, and we're gonna open up the object that we just exported. Boom. As you guys can see, we created the rainbow effect in both Blender 2.79 and 2.8. If you're missing a texture for this, just upload the decal to Roblox uh, website and then copy the ID of the decal. Anyways, that's how you guys create the rainbow effect in Blender. If you guys found this helpful, I do lots more tutorials like this. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!